why hello so I'm just driving um, down to the vet to pick up Wocky she went in for her um, desexing today so she has no ovaries anymore I'm so jealous of that kitten I wish I could go and do that sometimes usually once a month when I'm in a really bad mood <laughs> I wish that I could just book myself in and be like take them take them uh, so today basically I've gotten up super early and tidied up the house look at the hiccups now sorry oh, yawn. oh my goodness even talking about how early I got up makes me want to yawn so I got up early I kind of attempted to tidy the house and clean up a little bit um, and mum and nan came up for a cuppa before we went off to the skin cancer clinic um, so basically, I don't even know if I've spoken about this already. A couple of years ago, I had a funny lump on my arm and that turned out to be um, like a melanoma and I had to have more surgeries on it. So basically, I was meant to go back every three months to have um, like skin cancer checks and I've been really slack lately, which is really, really naughty of me because I'm like, I'm so good. I always like make sure everyone I know always goes and gets their skin checked and make sure they look after themselves in the sun because that is not cool. Anyway, I took my nan who needed to have a little bit more surgery on her face as she's had quite a lot of little like basal skin cell cancer thingies. Um, and last time she went, they did a biopsy on one and she had to have some more off. So she actually had three patches that she needed to um, have taken care of and she opted just to have the one surgery today on the bigger area and use basically like a chemotherapy um, cream on the other areas to see if that will um, take care of it. Uh, she's had a lot of surgeries on her face and head before and hasn't got a lot of skin left actually to, um, to sort of bind together when she gets bits taken off. So the poor old dear, she's so brave. I would be losing my mind if I had to go and do that. I like, I hate needles. They would just, someone would have to be holding me on that bed. She just calmly lays there and we were in the surgery for like two hours. I ended up sitting on the bed with her and holding her hand for the whole time, just trying to talk to her and take her mind off what was happening. Because it was on her face, she had like a sheet over her head where just the excision site had the hole. I mean, it's awful laying on a bed being like stabbed in the face and not being able to see or hear or whatever it's just horrendous she's so brave so we had that that was the basically the morning through the afternoon I had my check I've got to go back next week and the following week for two further checks and then again three monthly after that I've got some pretty sexy little I don't even know if you can see it if it's picking it up I have like um dot marks on my face from where they have found uh, moles that they don't like the look of and would like to take off which is Johnny Walkie just come out to vet we're just in the car park she's meant to be sedated <laughs> and calm and quiet no I'm crazy ow so she has like really bad teeth problems that they don't know if it's bacterial viral a hideously contagious disease or just her being mental and eating things she shouldn't that like her teeth must be really sore I'm like yeah because you know that stopped her biting they took out three baby teeth that weren't coming out because she's too old to have baby teeth oh you're so cute they've um where they shaved her belly I can't really see from here um they like wet it down obviously for the surgery and she's got this beautiful crimped belly hair that is so cute oh sweetheart we'll get you home so bung eye bung teeth um they found like three fleas on her which i don't even understand how they have found fleas on her she is regularly defleed and i've never seen them can you see her belly crimped oh my finger got in the way put your head up here and have a look at your belly Oh, it's not going to focus. <laughs> yeah, so got to keep her quiet. Good luck with that. You're just so cute. And look, they put her little name badge on her cage. Isn't that cute? Ow. Oh, I just realized something. They clipped your nails. You're actually, like, attacking me and it doesn't hurt. Thank God. I've tried to clip her nails before and she just loses her mind. So, oh, she's just taken my scarf in her cage. All right, sweetheart, let's get you home. My tiny little kitten. 
I am back. I got cut off before because Cam called and then I got to the vet and had to pick up my tiny Wacky who is so freaking cute. It's been like a day without her and I actually really missed her and her crazy. Her, um, her best friend cat, Wushka, who is deaf. So basically between the two of those cats, I have one with no hearing and one with one eye. Doing really well. Um, anyway, so he's been lurking around all day like, where is she? What have you done with her? Why has she gone away? Just searching for her and it was really cute, although really sad. Um, this car is going to pull out in front of me and I'm going to have to hit them. No, we're all good. Anyway, so yeah, so I spent the day at surgery with Nan. So that was kind of not much fun. Um, I, it's so funny, like she was getting the local anesthetic in her head and they bring out the needle and I have to like just clear the room and go, I had to go and like sit in the, in the bathroom basically, have a nervous spew. And then they get the scalpel out and cut this massive incision in her head. I'm like, yep, no worries. And I watched as they cut out the, the cancer and it was probably an inch by maybe two or three centimeters wide. And uh, yeah, no problems. Watch her get stitched up with like, you know, so many stitches. Can I go now? Whee! Oh, my phone's gone. My phone has gone. Yeah, so it's funny what I have like no trouble watching and what I what I can't deal with needles. Blah. Blood and gore. Blah. So yeah, I sat with her and held her hand and then we went and had a little bit of lunch and just hung out and um, did like a couple of minutes shopping. She had to get some stuff and yeah, I got home and like Danny Mucky and we just went to the, oh we, I went to the vet and oh my God, hiccup, sorry. And um, now I've got my little walkie next to me and we are gonna go home and I'm going to put her to bed. So cute, she is just so cute, like oh to cuddle her but she's in her cage and that would be naughty when I drive and then I'm gonna go home and I'm going to go back out again and get some delicious ingredients to make a delicious dinner I want blah, I want pumpkin and ricotta lasagna with pine nuts and basil and spinach that's what I want for dinner and that is what I'm going to make so that is my evening, basically. Yeah, wild, wild day. And then tomorrow, I normally have Thursday morning off work, but I am working tomorrow. And yeah, and then it's one more day and it's the weekend. And it's my brother's birthday, so I'll probably drive down and go and see him. Um, basically, so far, all I have bought him for his birthday are two beanies representing cats. That is about it. So I need to do myself some online shopping this evening. Wocky is trying to escape from her cage. Bye bye everybody. Okay, just one more thing. I don't know why I <laughs> take videos as I drive because this is seriously the most unattractive angle. Like I look back at some of the videos and I'm like, my 19 chins and I do not approve. Like. This is not a good look. I'm trying to make this worse than it is. It's too light, but far out. Not a good look filming from underneath. So, yeah, not pretty. I don't know why I do it, but I'm just so lazy and it's so easy to have a little chat. I have like cat hair all over my face. Um, it's so easy to chat when I'm driving and not like having to do things like, you know, concentrate on the road. I do do that. I concentrate on the road very, very well. It's basically when I drive, I either listen and sing to Ed Sheeran or I just like mumble on. And look, chins. This is like the most hideous. <laughs> I have so many chins from this angle. I'm like really worried that this is like a standard thing and every, because I'm so tall, all everyone sees is just like, I look like a female rabbit. This is not a pretty look. Sorry guys. 